So hi everybody and welcome back. Today we will do a, a short unboxing review of one of my next flying machines which will be the Quanum Trifactor. It's a, tri a, a tricopter for a change. And here you can see everything I plan to use on this build. This is not a conventional build. Usually they uh, suggest you to to, to try these uh, multi-star baby beast motors, which are quite heavy and large, swinging uh, five inch props. But I will try something else in this build, which I will explain to you. But let's first do the unpacking. So let's put the motors apart here, aside here, and go straight to the Quanum Tree Factor. So as you can see, Everything comes neatly packaged in this box. Let's take a look at the individual components. So what we can see here is this nice strap for the, for the LiPo, which you can use. A power distribution board. Uh, the hardware for mounting the servo to the third arm. And other little parts. Okay. Then here we have the, let's open that, I guess that's, that's the main board, all made of plastic, which looks interesting. And the small parts, I won't go into detail for them yet. I will have a build video or at least a video of the finished build online where I explain all this. So this is just a short unpacking of that. Here we have the arms as you can see and even more plastic <laughs> and other little parts. So that comes all really nicely packaged. I hope nothing is missing. And there is of course a manual, which also looks nice. It says foldable Ocket Tricopter, which is interesting. It even has a parts list, so this is also nice. Also a recommendation of the, of the motor rotation, which seems right. So just have one motor turn left, the other right, and the third one, it doesn't matter. <coughs> So that looks really nice. You can see how to assemble it. So I will follow that closely. And <laughs> it even mentions uh, to use how to use GPS on that one. I will not use it with a GPS enabled flight controller. I will just run clean flight on it. But maybe in the future I will. What I see here is that it uh, uh, it would fit a mini APM nicely, which could be a nice idea for mounting the battery. So that looks all nice. I will keep that out because I want to show you something. I will just get an arm out because I want to show you what I have planned for the power system of this tricopter. It should be something a bit new, so let's put that aside and that aside. And usually, as I said, uh, they uh, suggest you to use the Multistar Baby Beast motors. I will just quickly grab one of these. So as I said, I will just quickly grab one of these. So usually, they suggest you to use these uh, Multistar Baby Beast motors, which usually swing about five to maximum six inch props, rather five inch props, because those are quite high KV motors. Uh, I think they are yeah, 2150 KV motors. But the nice thing about the, the drive factor is it allows one to use larger propellers. <clears throat> the description says it can handle up to eight inch props. And as you know, the larger the propeller, the lower the KV, the more efficient the thing is. So you have longer flight times with a lower KV motor, which swings uh, larger props. 
And this is what I want to try <clears throat> with this trifecta build. I want to actually use these small this uh, BE1806 motors, which are only 1400 kV. Let's quickly take a look at this. <clears throat> Sorry. These are also lighter than the uh, Baby Beast motors and are also smaller than those. I will have to see if I can manage to mount them without modifications. I will have to look at that. Uh, and I want to use these swinging larger props. I want to use this with 7 to 8 inch props, which is fine. It brings them a bit to their limit, but it's fine for them because they are lower KV motors. And let's take a quick look if that fits. I will have to see if I can get the holes to align so that I can mount them. Yeah, maybe I have to, to, to just uh, uh, modify a bit here. But I want to use these motors swinging larger props. I have here. 8 inch props and 7 inch props. Let's take out one of these 7 inch props. And I want to mount them to this motor, which should be just fine. As you can see, uh, uh, as I said, even 8 inch props should work, and this should give me much, much better flight times. So this is what I planned for this uh, tricopter build. This was just a short unboxing review. I'm very much looking forward to this build. And once I have finished it, I will publish another video showing you how I built this. And of course, if everything which I have in mind works. So I hope you enjoyed this short unboxing video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Okay, see you later.